hi welcome to my channel this is Inis kitchen i'm so happy to have you here welcome to my channel new subscribers and returning subscribers today i'll be teaching us how to make this delicious chicken stew so first off we are going to season our chicken so this is local chicken and this is very important that you season it properly that's the key to a great stew so i have some spices here now this is a chicken seasoning spice i've been using it contains garlic powder onion powder shrimp powder soy sauce so now i have a combination of curry rosemary basil very delicious it helps your chicken taste great so i have seasoning cubes about 12 of them i have thyme and then i have salt about two tablespoons of salt so the key to your, a great chicken seasoning <laughs> is this my secret ingredient i call it my secret ingredient i'm going to be blending this onion with some chili pepper just one and um garlic hmm. it tastes so great it serves as a marinade like you put a bit of water in your blender and then you blend the onion this red onion and the chili pepper for a bit of heat is very delicious and it also helps to uh, make sure the chicken is really moist because as it boils it's going to make the chicken moist so i've already seasoned my chicken and this is the blended onion chili pepper and garlic i'm going to be pouring it over it this is so delicious if you've not been seasoning your chicken this way if you've not been cooking your chicken this way you need to try it out it's really delicious instead of slicing the onions you blend them in like this it's it's wonderful just you know just try it you testify so we're putting the chicken seasoning cubes and then we are going to boil it so we'll be boiling it for about 20 minutes until you can see a decrease in the waters that way you know that the chicken has absorbed most of the flavoring so now let's go to our stew yes first of all we have here some very nice red tomatoes one big bulb of red onion some bell peppers chili peppers now you need the bell peppers and chili peppers to add to the redness of the stew and it also has this very sweet taste i also have some um, scotch bonnet peppers it doesn't look like much but these ones are really hot i call them small but mighty i want the stew to be hot but i want everybody to be able to tolerate it so after blending it i'm going to dry it so i'm cooking it now drying it will take out the sourness of the tomato and reduce any excess water. So back to our chicken. As you can see, the chicken is boiling away. Now at this point, how do you know the chicken is done? Like I said, it decreases in water quantity and you can see the oil from the chicken floating on top. That's how you know that the chicken has really cooked not only has it cooked it has taken in all of that flavoring so i'm going to take it out and then i'll be frying the chicken so in a pot or pan heat it up and then um, put some vegetable oil and when the oil is hot you start frying now how do i fry my chicken i prefer my chicken to be lightly fried i'm putting in just a bit of onion to flavor the oil before i fry the chicken so i'm going to fry the chicken and make sure it's just lightly fried so that it still retains all of that moisture if you fry it too dry <laughs> it might be a bit tough on the chicken makes the chicken you know a bit hard but when you fry it lightly it's still moist and it's um, a little bit tender so this is what the chicken looks like when it is lightly fried so let's talk a bit about our chicken bread now look at this chicken bread it has in it all of that onion 
all of that spices and this is what is going to make our chicken stew taste beautiful and delicious now you can see our pepper is dry it has a bit of moisture in it but not to worry when we fry all of that moisture will be gone so this is the oil that was used to fry the chicken I'll be putting a bit of onion in it remember we have onion in our chicken broth and we also have some onion in the tomato blend so just to flavor the oil we're going to put this uh, onion in it to flavor the oil onion is <laughs> I, I i'm thinking of a meal that i prepare without onion and nothing is coming to mind onion is very versatile in <laughs> most of our meals so i'm going to be frying the tomato you can see how paste like it is at first you are thinking is this still going to be enough it is once you add your chicken broth to it if you feel it's still too thick you can add a bit of water to it so we are going to fry this how do you know that it's really fried for me an education that it's really fried is when it starts sticking a bit to the pot and then i'll have to use a spoon to make sure that it doesn't get burnt at that point i know that yes it is really fried just like i'm doing right now so we're going to be adding that beautiful chicken broth to it you can see very delicious this is going to make it very delicious all of that flavoring from the chicken the onion the spices all of that into our stew very delicious i'm not adding any curry because it has enough curry in the chicken broth for the entire stew so i'll also be adding about two bay leaves this is just to take it to <laughs> another notch like i said earlier this is the perfect stew for any special occasion when you want um rice and stew not to just look like a casual meal you can use this method it makes it taste great so we're going to allow it to simmer for a bit and now we are going to be adding a bit more seasoning because um, the seasoning in the broth is not enough to um season the entire stew so just about two seasoning cubes and a teaspoon of salt will do then you stir and allow it to simmer a bit and then you add your chicken so it's important to add the chicken last so that you don't overcook the chicken we've cooked the chicken we fried the chicken so at this point it's best to add it last so that you just stay it in make sure it's immersed in the stew and then you allow it to simmer for two to three minutes you need to try this stew this stew is really delicious it's very very delicious it's really delicious it's great for parties get togethers festive period this is a great recipe and you know growing up in nigeria rice and stew is like a staple food <laughs> Can have it on sundays on weekends on you know make it on weekends and eat it all through the week put it in the freezer and then when we come we warm the stew <laughs> now our stew is ready i mean just look at this stew it looks like the stew you will get in an authentic buka there is no tomato paste in this stew look at how red this stew is it is really delicious and I'm having this stew with rice, you can have it with yam, potatoes, spaghetti, whatever you want. This stew is the authentic Nigerian stew. Delicious stew. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.